thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about the Power BI direct query mode as opposed to the import mode for bringing data into a Power BI file. So let's just quickly get to the bottom of why and when I would use direct query versus import when bringing data into Power BI. I'm also going to talk about the differences between the two modes and what the trade-offs might be with going with one over the other. So here's the testing environment set up in a split screen. On the left I have my SQL Server and on the right I've got my Power BI. Here I've got my month table. There's a couple of columns in it. The month ID and the month name. You can see that I've populated it with three of the months. We're going to see what happens as the data changes using direct query. So over here in Power BI, I'm going to connect to my Azure database. So here's where we choose direct query. Let's take a look at what happens. I'm logging into Azure with SQL database credentials. So let's connect. I'll grab the month table and load it up. And once that's complete, it shows up under the fields section. So now my schema is loaded into the PBIX file, but it will be pulling data live from the database. So I'm going to add the data using a simple table visualization onto the report. Due to the size of my window, the text on the visualization has shrunk accordingly, so I'm going to do some format changes here really quickly. All right, the data on the left and the data on the right seem to match perfectly. So let's go ahead and publish this to Power BI. Have to save before publishing. I'm just going to publish it into my workspace. Now I'll open it and test it out. So there's my data, and keep an eye on this refresh button because your users are going to love it if they're into the most real-time experience they can have. Let's make a change into the data and see what happens. So I'll add a couple of months. Hit the refresh button, and there's my data. I was working for a very exciting and fast startup company, and the chairman of the board wanted to monitor the key metrics on his mobile phone. When you're in a startup and you begin to make sales, you're not interested in quarterly results or monthly results. You want to know the sales of the last five minutes. The chairman knew that when he hit refresh, he was going to see the latest data. This saved him the frustration of wondering whether the data was updated or not. Since import mode can only be refreshed on a schedule, users may not be aware of when the data is refreshed. Direct query is also useful when you have a very large data set and it wouldn't be feasible to load the entire thing up into your PBIX. There are some limitations. If you look at the modeling tab, you can't create your own custom tables inside your PBIX. 
Another thing is that on the left sidebar, you normally have three options to view the report, to view the tables and data, and view the relationships. But with direct query, you can't view the tables. You can only see the report and the relationships. Some other direct query limitations. All tables need to come from one database. You can no longer pull from multiple databases and then join them together inside of Power BI. All relationships must be unidirectional and there's no cross filtering. So you can't use slicers now with related tables that slice both ways across those tables. Time intelligence functions simply don't work. Total month to date, for instance, total year to date. You can change this in the options. However, that will potentially affect performance. And there's a limit of 1 million rows on a query in direct query.